Saunders was tough again this morning. Hangover. Always that way after a spurt. Did he find you too? Yeah. I'm not hungry. Are you, Anne? No, I'm never hungry anymore. I don't wonder. Not much to look forward to, is there? Go to work. Go to bed. Oh, Lita, I can't work. stand it any longer. I've held out as long as I can. Oh, I know how you've tried. But you don't belong here like I do. Oh, now, Lita, don't say that. I'm not a snob, but... Oh, don't be a chump, kid. You've proved that by trying a job like this after you've had the good things in life. <laughs> don't give me too much credit. It's the only work I could find. We tried the stage, my sister and I. You did? Mm-hmm. You see, it fitted in with our training, and the sudden shift in circumstances gave us so little time to choose. But these, we were twins, you know, and they thought that she had more personality than I. How's she doing? Oh, very well. Funny she doesn't do something for you. She doesn't know my condition. She doesn't know even where I am. I haven't seen her since we quarreled. And then, I changed my name, you know. Say, um, what's become of your big shot newspaper friend? Big shot? You mean Lawson Rose? Yeah, I thought maybe that might be your big chance. Don't be silly, Lita. I've only known him a few months. You know, I don't like that guy. This is Rose. Yeah, Rolf. That's me, and as usual, ten jumps ahead of them all. Here's something for the first edition. Add on to the Logan murder trial. In my opinion, this woman ought to be hanged. What's that? That guy had double cross St. Peter. He turned his own mother in for a story. <laughs> oh. Oh, so you don't want my opinion. Well, she's sure to be. All right. All right. Hey, Rolf. You know, the prosecutor couldn't have walked away with that session this morning if he hadn't have pinned that woman down to yes or no answers. See, any question can be answered by yes or no, unless there's an evasion. I'll bet you ten dollars you can't do it and speak the truth. You're on. What's your question? Oh, I'm going to find out something I wanted to know for a long time. Come on, come on, come on. What's your question? <laughs> All right. Is it true that you quit cheating in our poker games? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Rolf. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Lamb. You guys all wrote the telegram all cheat. Uh, hey, what's the matter with Rolf? Oh, he just sold his birthright for ten dollars. His birthright <laughs> expired when he was a week old. <laughs> <laughs> what's on your mind, Mike? I just came from the Supreme Court. We won our suit. You know, nobody's going to infringe on my stuff. That man was trying to steal my show. Interesting case, Mitch. Give it some prominence, will you? Elaine Manners wins the exclusive right to the glorified nun de plume girl with the butterfly legs. Not bad, eh? Star of the club leader review, headed straight for Broadway. And listen, boys, that's as sure as I'm Mike Goldfish, her manager. How's that? Swell, yeah, my swell. swell. <laughs> Just a minute, boys, while I convey this glorious information to my little star in person. <laughs> Is she good? <laughs> Let him rave. Let him rave. Hey, I've seen this girl. She's not bad either. Yeah? <laughs> Hello, honey. Yes, we won the suit. Nobody can use the butterfly legs but me. I mean you. Uh, no, the both of us. That is, uh, uh, the lawsuit. Yes, this, no, not the clothes, the lawsuit. Yes, wait. I, all right, I'll be right up. <laughs> Just like a woman. Here I got important news that she's got to talk about something else. <laughs> I gotta go now, but I'm coming on you boys to help push her along to Broadway. She's good, I'm telling you. Wait, here. Get an eye full of that. I said butterfly legs. See for yourselves. Now I'll deal out the tables in keeping with your spread. Ringside seats for a front page. Right? See you right. at the Club Lido.
Ouch! What do you think you're working on, a dummy? I've often wondered. Michael have a fit when he hears about this. Yeah? <laughs> well, it isn't the first one, and it won't be the last. As a matter of fact, I think he likes it. <laughs> well, if that's the case, he's going to have a small time tonight. <laughs> well, guess that's enough for now. I'll go and get your things. Oh, there's Mike now. Let him in. Condemned man enters death chamber with a smile. Listen, I've been working hard all day for you. What do you want to call me here for at a time like this? yourself for a shock. Mike, I must leave the show this week. If I don't, you're going to see me in a padded cell. What is this? What are you trying to pull on me? What's the matter? You're in trouble? No, 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 no. I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Breakdown? You built like a ten-ton truck. What's that crack? Oh, one ton. Yeah. Say, just a minute. Listen. Tell me the truth. What can it hurt? You got a better offer? I'll meet it. Trust your Uncle Mike. Ain't I making you famous? Mike, it has nothing to do with business. Believe it or not, I'm a sick butterfly. And I'm leaving this week. If you don't like that reason, get another. It's up to you. It's up to me. All the time, it's up to me. What happens to the review if you quit? Tell me that. <laughs> You'll get somebody else. And after all, what's it hurt? I guess you told him. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Mr. Mike's show sure was made. It's for y'all, Miss Elaine. Ooh, I've got a hunch. Just as I thought, same unknown lover, Gilbert Frale. Mm-mm-mm. Uh-uh. But he's added a trinket to us this time. What? <gasps> you know, Elaine, I got a mental picture of that guy. <laughs> well, he may look like that, but his little knickknacks are all right. Gee, do you suppose it's real? Of course it is. Don't be silly. Well, thanks, Mrs. Carter. Come on in and I'll pay you. Jim gave it to me this morning. Why don't you leave him? Leave him? Why, he's threatening to leave me. Well, let him. Then you can go back into show business. <laughs> That's just it. He knows my show days are over. Oh. But he isn't going to leave. And there isn't any woman going to take him away from me. I think I'd better go now. Jim. Oh, you again. Can't a guy have any rest around his joint at all? something I want to say to you. I have to get right back to the courthouse. Important murder trial. 
It was me that had the Logan woman dragged back to jail and the case reopened. One of the nicest stories I've had in a long time. Yes, I've read something about it. Have you ever thought what that woman might have had to endure? What difference does it make? The story, ain't it? Besides, I think she's guilty. It's a plain case of cold-blooded murder. She waited until he got to sleep and then clubbed him to death. Oh, can't you talk of anything else but murders? Sure. Let's talk about marriage. That's what I came tonight for. To propose to you. Well, say it. I was wondering if that could be construed as a proposal. What do you mean? Well, there's been nothing said about love. I told you once I loved you. Besides, marriage is a business proposition. Every man should have a wife to help him advance. Not that uh, I really need one, but uh, it might help. What's the matter, Ann? Don't you want to marry me? Oh, I was just thinking. No objection, is there? Yes. I can't marry you now. Why, you're kidding me, aren't you? No. Well, what a laugh this is. Ann Merrick, factory girl, refuses Lawson Rote. Why? Tell me that. Why? Please, Lawson, don't talk to me like that. All right. Only let me tell you this. No dame ever made a sucker out of me. And got away with it. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Jim. Jim. What are you doing there? Get your ugly mug in there. I know what I'm doing. Oh, Jim, please. Come away from that door. Come on in the room. Will you lay off of me? Will you stop Shh, and go on? Now, Jim, don't, don't make so much me. noise. Don't shush me. I know what I'm doing. Go on in there. You understand? Stop trailing me around all the time. Listen here, you. I'm through with you, you understand? I'm sick and tired of you. You're all washed up, you understand? I'm going to quit you and I'm going to quit you right now. I've had my eye on you for a long time, baby. And now is just as good a time as any. Get out of this room. Oh, don't be silly. Now, listen, listen, you get out of this room. Oh, now, listen. Get out of here. Let me go. Carter, get out of my room. Please let me go. What's the matter? I don't know. I just heard it myself. Now, will you please? Will you please? Another scrap or something. What was it? What happened? Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on, Keep moving. Get out of here. Don't stand around right here. Ann, open the door. Ann, let me in. Now, what happened here? What's the trouble? The door's locked. We can't get in. There was a shot fired. I heard a scream. Oh, get back now. Clear out of here. Back up. Go 
We'll get the coroner. Notify headquarters. Oh, oh, Hurry. All right. Drop that. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you know you've destroyed the fingerprints on that? Hey, whose gun is it? Uh, it's his. Uh, I I've seen him with it. Well, is this his room? No, this is Ann Merrick's room. Where is she? She was here. I heard her scream. Whose room is this? Why, it's vacant. Have any idea where that Merrick girl went? Well, how do I know? Why don't they find her? I warned Jim to keep away from her. Right. Don't worry, Miss Carter. <coughs> now, don't go away. We have to take you down for questioning. Come on, get out of here now, all of you. Come on. Evening Herald, officer. Rolls the name. I was going anyway. I want to get this story started. I'll be back. Those girls. That's what oh, I please don't mention my house, Mr. Rolfe. I know you won't because you're such a good friend of Anne's. That's all right, Mrs. Hubbard. I'll take care of it. He's a good boy, isn't he? He certainly is. Get away. Look at this. Right on the front page. Well, there's only one place left. My sister's. Lita, get me a hat. Any kind of a hat. You won't tell anyone I've been here. And you know I won't. And remember, they haven't got a sister. Sure. Holding me. 
to see you. Fine time for you fellas to get in here. Me holding a ringside table for you. How can you write up the whole show when you don't see it all? Sorry, Mike. A little dinner engagement. Yes. Kids are as you know. Yes. Say, a minute of your show is worth two hours of any opera. <laughs> Hello, Rose. Hello, Mike. How are you feeling? Say, you uh, boys, how about give me a full write-up? What does it hurt? Don't worry, Mike. We'll give you a break. And a boy. Wait a minute. Hey, what's the matter with Rose? Wait a minute, Freddy. What are you trying to do? What do you care? I think I know this girl. Well, apparently she doesn't know you. Well, maybe she doesn't. And maybe she does. Sorry, old man. It's all right. It was over so quickly, there was no disturbance. Is there? No. Where'd you get that girl? Don't you know her? You should come here more often. Would you refrain from telling if you came to my dwelling? Then went away another day. Would you feel it compelling to run and yell? I mean to tell on me. Would you? <laughs> they all do. <laughs> hey, Freya, you wanted to go back to the dressing room, didn't you? Did I? Do I? Come on, Freddie. Come right back. It's not going to work. Well, what do you mean? Mr. Brown, I want you to meet Mr. Frail, Mr. Langtree. How do you do? How do you do, Mr. Brown? I think that Mr. Lane is wonderful. Michael, I'm afraid that newspaper man knows. Rolf? Yes. Oh, no. Pay no attention to him. Now, you hurry up and make your change. You're going to meet a mighty nice chap. Oh, but I'm not equal to it tonight, Mike. Let me go home. But this is important. Don't forget Miss Manor's obligation to our public and the press. But do you think it's wise? I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. It's just another test. Besides, you like this fellow Freya. Why, he's been sending you flowers for a year. Well, Oh, you don't know it. That's why I'm telling you. Come here, Gilbert. That is one of your most ardent admirers, Mr. Gilbert Frail. Miss Manners. How do you do? I told him how you liked all his flowers. Oh, yes. They look perfectly beautiful, all of them. I'll be dressed in just a moment. I'll wait. One. Wait, I forgot a lady's bag. Gilbert, we'll see you out front. All right. Where's Miss Manor's dressing room? Right there.
I'm Rolf from the Herald, in case you don't know. Why, what are you talking about? I thought you came here for an item for your paper. This is ridiculous. I shall have to ask you to leave, Mr. Rolf. See you again, Miss Manners. Alone. Oh, so you do know this fellow? Yes, he's a newspaper man. And you see him alone, eh? Just a minute. Well? Oh, you've accepted the usual tokens that lead up to this sort of thing. If it was only natural that I... What are you trying to infer? Oh, the only visible reminder is on your wrist. Why, that isn't much. What annoyance. This evening is enough. Hmm. What happened to the unknown lover? Well, I'll tell you later, Polly, when we get home. Now, you must remember, this fellow Frail has been sending your sister flowers and trinkets for over a year, and she's accepted them. He's got the wrong idea about you. And the next time you see him, let him know it. And see how he acts. Oh, let's forget about it anyway. Oh, sure. But gee, Polly, there's something about him I like. Oh, well. <laughs> Nothing could come of it anyway, the fix I'm in. Oh, can that talk, kid? Well, you haven't done anything criminal. Come on. Let's go to bed. Well, that's just an old-time stage trick, doubling for your sister. Snap out of it and get all the good things in life as they come along. Uh-uh, I like this. Hello? Nope, she's gone to bed. I wanted to apologize for what happened tonight. Well, I'll see what I can do about it. But I want a chance to prove it. I, I was thinking of the polo game tomorrow. You better ring up in the morning. Who is that? You know who it was. He wants you to go to the polo game tomorrow. Going? Well, tell him this. Oh. Come on. I only hope you'll forget everything that happened last right night. Everything? <laughs> well, everything except me that I met you. Oh, look, Gilbert. You know, Gilbert, these past few weeks I've been really happy. And your Romeo's got to go away. Oh, why, you'll be back soon. It won't seem soon to me. We'll make the South American trip our honeymoon. Gilbert, I can't do that. The show doesn't close yet for six weeks. Oh, the show. All right, then, the very day I return. Jim, just one more item, we slam in the date and go. You've been telling me that for over a month. But it's been a tough job. I know, but you're carrying along a lot of expense. What are you waiting for now? Just one more thing. I'm going to call Bill. Don't forget the big boost when I bring in the story. Get the story and get it right. Now, 
Outside. Right. I'm listening. This is Roll of the Herald. Now listen, the boss has been writing me about that Carter murder case. Got anything new on it? I think I've got a line on that uh, Carter woman. Good. Now here's a tip I've been trying to run down. Yeah. Maybe you can do something with it. This Elaine Manners over at the club leader with a dead ringer for Ann Merrick. There's something phony about it. Take a run up to her apartment. Yeah, and listen, Bill. Mention my name in some way. It may help. Uh-huh. I'm on another, another lead right now. Won't be long now, boss. Getting hot. All right. Hi, Frank boy. Thanks. You mean to tell me you haven't seen Ann Merrick since she left the mill? Why, no, I haven't. You know a girl named Elaine Manners? Why, no. I don't believe you. You'll hear from me later. They might trace your call. Well, I was afraid, and I thought you ought to know. Yes, I understand. Oh, and thanks so much, dear. But you'd better wait until you hear from me. All right. Goodbye. What do you mean, coming in here like this? Shut your trap, or I'll... Uh... Ain't nobody done that yet. What's the big idea? Who are these men, Margot? Wait a minute. You're quiet this loudspeaker, I'll tell you. Which one of you ladies is Elaine Manners? What business have you got breaking in here at this hour Just of the night? Just a minute, miss. We come up here to ask you a few questions. Well, what do you want to know? Which of you ladies is Elaine Manners? I'm Miss Manners. Is that your real name or just a stage moniker? It's my real name. Do you happen to know a young lady by the name of Anne Merrick? No. We don't know anybody by that name. Do you know a fellow by the name of, uh, Rolf? Yes. A newspaper man? What's the idea of all this cross-questioning anyway? Thanks. You think there was a bunch of bootleggers around here the way those guys acted? because they mentioned his name. Mike, I tell you, he's determined. He hasn't let up for a minute. Why the officers? What do they want? Oh, they just asked me if I knew Rolf. Oh, Mike, I tell you, I'll have to give up if it goes on. It's Rolf, all right. I promise you, I'll take care of him. Don't worry, no more. You never give me any publicity. Nothing. Only I'd like to know how long you're going to keep this Merrick girl in Elaine Manor's place. Merrick? I never heard that name before. No, but you soon will. 
You'll read it right across the front page of the Herald. What are you talking about? The girl you've got out there is Ann Merrick. She's wanted for murder. Get that? Lolt, you better have proof before you print anything like that. All right, you win. But only until I learn one more thing. And I know just where to get it. And how fast I'll move there. Oh, I don't know, sir, unless she's up at the apartment. You needn't be in such a hurry. Those boats are always an hour or two late. Yes, I know, but I want to be there when it docks. Oh, Polly, please don't answer that phone. I can't stand any more disturbances, and that's all we get over that. Suits me. had a hard time locating this Carter woman. Looks like she was trying to hide out on us. Where does she live? What's the number, Bill? 5846 Claiborne Avenue. Good. Now we'll get the note ready. Hey, here. You better write it, Bill. She may know my handwriting. Hey, Pip, get your hat on. I want you to run on an errand for me. See, this manager up at the Lido Club tells me that this girl has been with him for over a year. Ah, that's a lot of hooey. He told me that, too. No two girls ever look so much alike. If she falls for this note, she's Ann Merrick. If she's another girl, she won't know the Carter woman. Here, yeah. you go with Bill. He'll show you where to go. Now, phone me every step of the way. I want this to be the early edition, if possible. I didn't know it was that late, Polly. I'll have hardly time to make the boat. Miss Elaine, this year fool boy say he can't deliver this note to nobody but y'all. Are you Miss Elaine Manners? Yes. Here's a note for you. Thank you. Paul wrote and tell him she's on her way. Hurry. That's the stuff, Nick. Call me when she gets to the house. Gill, old man. Eddie, who'd expect to find you here? Just got back myself. I've been down to the shore while you were away. I was expecting Elaine to meet me. Well, I hardly, hardly think she'll be here, Gill. Why not? She has other interests now. She's been carrying on an affair with a fellow down at Pelham Inlet. Is that why you're here to tell me that? You can stop right where you are. 
guilt. I saw her with my own eyes. She's down there now. You can easily check up on it for yourself. No. I've never checked on a woman in my life, and I hate to begin now. Let's take a run down there. And if you find it's a mistake, well, there's no harm done. Come on, Gilbert. Iron rolling, Jim. There's your story. We'll have an arrest in 20 minutes. Uh, it... Hubby, are you sure about this? Absolutely. Say, how about my name in cap? She's in the house. Shall we bring them both in? I want Ann Merrick. I don't care what you do with a Carter woman. She's under arrest, Chief. Shoot the works. Oh, boy, what a day for me. Am I a big shot or not? Come on, Tom. And if it's a trick, and you know anything about it, Oh, I've been tortured enough. All I want is to be let alone. Here they are, Tom. This is Ann Merrick, and there's the quarter woman. I have warrants for the arrest of both of you. Miss Elaine Manners. Is she here? Oh, yes. That's her stage name. Why, there she is, coming down the stairs now. Wait a minute, Freddy. Okay. Hey, what are you doing here? Who wants to know? What? There she is, over there. So here you are. A gag? What are you doing here, and who's this fellow? Polly told me you were here. There's plenty of troubles. You've got to come right back. What are you hiding out here for? Is that yours? I think so. What kind of a family is this? One goes around shooting people and the other's having babies. Say, you can't have a baby. It's in your contract. Oh, but I had one. All by yourself, I suppose. Oh, no, no, no. My husband was in on the secret. And a husband, too? Yes, a mere secret, Mike. And don't tell anyone. Oh, Undesirable yeah. publicity, you know. Say, hey, what is all this? Look, I'm dying and he's asking me a little. This ain't your girlfriend, it's her twin. In what trouble she makes me. Then you're Elaine's sister. No, I'm Elaine. Her name is really Anne, twin. And I'll bet she's wondering where you are now. She won't wander long, thanks. So long, Mike. <laughs> well, you're all wet, Freddy. Come on. All about the car to murder case here. Extra, extra paper. We the butter in the hero here. And they're arrested. Yes, this is Jim. Put this in the box. Set it up in another form and bring it up again. Okay, Chief. Yes, I'm attending to that. I'm sending it up right away. Yes, this is him. Get the story. That's what I sent you for. There's just one thing, Chief, I want to say right now. From now on, this office is too small to hold those two guys and me. Either they go or else... Get this, will you? I got my name in caps. Gee, that's great. Huh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Give me that again. I'm telling you, you better hold up that extra. 
The Carter woman has made a full confession, exonerating and murdered. Yes, she shot through the transom and threw the gun on the floor. It won't be long now. The seats of the mighty for me. This is the biggest scoop this old rag ever had, and I'm the fair-haired boy that put it over. There won't be anything too good for me around here. What's wrong, Chief? Another boner. <laughs> Where is he? Where Where's is who? Oh, 300 thanks, 350 thanks, 400 thanks. What do I care? You know, nobody ever has such publicity. Under my management, I hope you get a raise. Now the sister is better than the sister, and we owe it all to you. Now, I got a great follow-up story. All rolled out. Listen. Anne Merrick, famous prima donna under the management of Mike Goldfish. That's me. Free from the false murder charge, moves from the House of Chance to a castle in Spain. That's right, boys. And she's going to marry Gilbert Frail, the rich young millionaire. I suppose she'll have a baby. What's it hurt? What's it hurt? But it would have made a grand story.